二零二二年第六條 M C 咧係有關於基礎遺傳學嘅，咁以下咧就係講緊一個大型嘅調查，就係、是、調查緊咧同卵孖胎同埋二卵孖胎佢哋某四個。特徵嘅基因遺傳情況啦，咁下面呢幅圖咧，我就只見到啦 ，P Q R S 呢四個特徵啦，喺同卵相生同埋異卵相生嘅情況底下，究竟啦，佢哋所顯示出嘅相似性究竟係高定係低咧？咁成條題目咧，其實就係考我哋能唔能夠分辨得到喺同卵孖胎同埋異卵孖胎佢哋嘅基因組成部分咧，有啲咩嘅分別嘅？啊，睇翻呢幅圖啦噃。同卵孖胎咧，好簡單嘅啫，就係、是、一粒精子同埋一粒卵子嘅結合，係咪先？而喺整個合子啊，同埋胚胎嘅發展底下咧，原來咧佢真係一分為二喎，咁所以到頭來咧就形成咗兩個獨立嘅個體，而呢兩個獨立嘅個體咧，佢哋嘅基因特性咧係一模一樣嘅。相反啦，二卵相生咧，就係、是、分別係由兩個卵子同埋兩個精子嘅受精作用所結合啦，而佢哋就獨立變成兩個嘅個體，咁所以啦，佢哋嘅基因組成部分咧，自不然係不同嘅。然後啦，就睇翻題目咯喎，呢四個特徵啊 ，P、Q、R、S 邊一個係最受到環境因素所去影響嘅咧？其實成條題目咧，一解明咧，你就知道啦，非常之直白嘅，因為你只需要睇翻四條黑色嘅巴咧，就已經搞掂曬噶啦。原因係講緊對於同卵孖胎咧，佢哋嘅基因成分係一模一樣噶嘛，咁所以啦，喺佢哋嘅表現型嘅特徵表現出嚟嘅話咧，理應咧係一百個 percent 一模一樣嘅，都唔好話相似啊，直頭係一樣啊。咁所以啦，你見到個情況咧，就係 P 同埋 Q 咧，咦，真係顯示到一百 percent 嘅相似率喎。但係但係啦，喺 R 同 X 咧就有少少分別啦，佢哋係去唔到一百個 percent 相似嘅。咁即係話啦，咦，明明佢哋基因係一模一樣噶嘛，而一個個體嘅表現型，佢哋嘅 phenotype。其實啦，應該係受到佢哋嘅基因型 genotype 所去影響住噶嘛。咁而家我哋發現啦，明明基因係一模一樣，但係表現出嚟又唔係咁一樣。咁即係話 R 同埋 S 咧，就會受到另一個嘅因素所影響，而呢個因素咧，就係我哋題目所問嘅環境因素啦。咁我哋就發現啦 ，R 同 S 咦又真係去唔到一百 percent， 而喺 S 嘅呢個特性咧，就只去到八十松少少嘅 percent， 可能 R 咧就接近九十個 percent 嘅，咁所以答案咧就係 D 啦。咁你話啦，誒成條題目兩 Sir 你冇講到白色呢啲嘅巴嘅？咦係喎，二卵相生又好似真係冇講過喎。其實咧，佢哋係一個 distractor 嚟嘅啫，去擾亂你嘅啫。原因好簡單嘅啫，因為二卵相生，佢哋個基因特性都唔同啊嘛，表現出嚟嘅特性唔同，好應份啦，係咪？所以啦，有一半嘅同學咧，其實就係俾佢 distract 咗啊。就係睇下啦，哎呀死啦，咪係咪咧？要對比下咧，黑色巴同埋白色巴佢哋之間嘅相距啊，啊邊個咧又相距得多啲啊，少啲啊？完全唔係啊！即又或者啦，係咪睇下呢啲個白色巴啊？究竟啦邊個高邊個低啊？都唔係啊，完全係唔需要睇嘅。當然啦，你話嚇不需要理會佢又早。當然啦，講得難聽啲咧，佢個干擾嘅答案。咁但係啦，喺整個嘅科學探究嘅底下咧，其實我哋嘅二卵相生嘅孖仔孖女咧。其實佢係我哋嘅對照實驗嚟嘅，因為啦，你試想一下，我哋喺整個實驗當中，我哋只係存在緊同卵相生啫。然後啦，就去比較下啦，啊係啦，啊呢兩啊 P 同 Q 咧就一百 percent 咯 ，R 同 S 咧就細過一百 percent 咯，跟住咧 S 又再低啲咯，所以佢答案咯。其實總係有人會挑戰你㗎，嚇、啊！你唔俾有其他因素所影響㗎，有大把原因啊，係會導致基因變異㗎嘛，係咪？有咩獨立分配啊，有隨機受精啊，喂，全部都唔同㗎喎、啊。誒、欸、嗱，我就話俾你聽啦，真係我俾兩粒卵子你，又俾兩粒精子你，就真係發展咗兩個獨立個體。OK， 好，我俾你睇下，究竟啦佢哋生出嚟嘅仔女，佢哋嗰個表現出嚟嘅特性有幾相似啊？其實就係隻隻都不同。完全係我哋嘅意料之內啊！跟住啦，就比較翻啲黑色巴嘅同卵孖胎啦。嗱，你話噶嘛，佢哋基因一模一樣噶嘛，但係而家表現出嚟唔同啊嘛。除咗遺傳呢個因素之外，咪就係環境因素咯。明白未？
222 question 6 is about the basic genetics, a large surface about the inheritance of four traits in the identical twins and the fraternal twins has been conducted. And the similarity, and the similarity of these four traits, PEQRS, among the individuals in each type of twins are shown in the diagram. So you can see that there are eight bars. So four bars is for the identical twins, and the other four bars are for the fraternal twins. And then you can see the percentage of the similarity. So for the whole question, the idea we are checking is ask you to distinguish the genetic composition of the identical twins from that of the fraternal twins. So you can see from this diagram, there is an ovum fertilized by a sperm, and once the cycle divided into two cells, each cell undergo mitotic cell division individually, repeatedly, to form a ball of cells, and two embryos develop into two genetically identical individuals. And for the fraternal twins, two ova are fertilized by two different sperms, and then two cycles are formed, and then finally two cells of each embryo undergo mitotic cell division repeatedly, and the two embryos develop into two genetically different individuals. So let's go back to the questions. Which trace is most affected by the environmental factors? So let's take a look at the graph. So in the graph, all you need to see is the four black bars for the identical twins. The logic is that since the genetic composition of the individual twins is the same, they should show 100% similarity in these four traits. Agree? So the case is that you can take a look, P and Q, oh, Mr. Leung, they really show the 100% similarity. However, for trace R and Q, they did not show the 100% similarity, maybe 80 something or maybe 90% similarity, but never 100%. So that's the idea that for the genetically identical twins, so for the genotype, they are the same. Therefore, they should show the 100% the same phenotype. However, they do not. For any other factor, it will affect the genetic expression. So that's the environmental factor. It will affect the genetic expression to show different phenotypes, right? Therefore, you can compare R and S, and then we can see that S it has lower percentage of the similarity, therefore S is the answer. And then you may ask that, oh, Mr. Leung, you never use the bars of the fraternal twins. Yes, I did not use of them. P, Q, R, S, the white bar for the fraternal twins, I never use it because they are the distractor to mislead you. For the fraternal twins, they are genetically different. Therefore, they are probably showing different phenotypes. So it's very reasonable that we can see the white bar, all of them lower than 100%. And you may see that, huh, Mr. Leung, if they are distracted, why should they need to give these four bars to us? So in the whole scientific investigation, the white bar for the fraternal twins, they are the control setup. Imagine that, what if in the whole survey, we only use the identical twins to check the similarity? And then some people may challenge that. No, no, no. In the whole process of the human reproduction, there are different processes we need to genetic variation. For example, the independent assortment of the homologous chromosome, crossing over, random fertilization of the sperm and egg, so some people may challenge our result. Therefore, we use the fraternal twins to show other people that when we take a look at the identical twins bar, this four black bar, so we do not need to do the comparison. Oh, what's the difference between the blue bar and the right bar? Okay, or are we comparing the uh, similarity of the old white bar? All not necessary because we just see that and get the logic that all the identical twins, they should all show 100% similarity. But now we can see that R and S, they do not. And then we can compare R and S and then know the answer.